Hello everyone. Come on in to sit a spell and we'll teach you how to make fried dry land fish, which is morel mushrooms. But we're gonna have supper too. We got fried okra, green beans, and cornbread to come. So stay tuned. And this is my green beans that I had frozen uh, from last year from the garden. And so I've thawed them out and now I'm putting them in water. And I also got me a little, maybe a half a pack of salt pork to put in it. That was already sliced. I just had to chop it a little finer. And I'm gonna let that cook in. And that's gonna be very good, but we've got lots more to come. So when I turn this on, I get them boiling. It's probably gonna take a good couple of hours uh, at least to get made, but we also are gonna have cornbread and we're gonna have the dry land fish fried like I was talking about that I love so. Well, we got a, a little mess given to us. So Danny will be making that up because I'm afraid I'll mess them up. And they're too precious uh, and too rare uh, for me to mess up. And he knows more about frying dry land fish. And then we're going to have some uh, fried okra that I also put in the freezer last year. Uh, and so it'll all be good and we'll pull it all together the best we can. So you slice them in half and you put them in salt water. And this is what they look like when they're sliced in half. Now this is our dry lamb fish, morel mushrooms. And I had them all night long soak it in salt water. So they will be good and clean and and uh, get anything that might be in them. I sliced them in half, and uh, that's what they look like while they've been soaking all night. They've been cooking almost an hour. They still got a ways to go yet. Well, maybe a, a good quart of dry land fish drained out really good, drained really good, and then you want you want your uh, you want some you want some cornmeal. You want about a teaspoon of pepper in it. That's a teaspoon. Check me and see. About a teaspoon of salt in it, and you want to stir it up. You can do it with your hand. And you want to put it, you want to put uh, not hardly as much in your dry land fish as you do your cornstarch in your batter for your dry land fish. Just makes it stick to them. Back in the day, we didn't have no such thing as cornstarch, so we didn't use them. I know I'm sloppy. Just get in there and be sure the co it's coated real good. Be sure it's coated real good. Pro that's probably a good cup of cornmeal, teaspoon of pepper, teaspoon of salt. and a teaspoon of cornstarch. You want a big tablespoon of lard, and you want your you want your eye on about seven or eight, six or seven, medium, medium high heat, but you want enough. Now this is old hog lard, this ain't this ain't shortening, this ain't vegetable oil, this ain't olive oil, it's hog lard. Lard country lard for the dry land fish for the dry land fish mm -hmm. 
It's dry land fish, so you need to think of it as fish. the salt and pepper to taste because everybody don't like as much salt people have problems everybody don't like as much salt as we do same with pepper same with pepper see how golden brown look that golden brown now. That's a good crisp. I'm ready. Okay, the dry land fish are ready. They're done. That good crispy golden brown. Let me get them out and she can take a video of it. They're very done they're crispity crunchity if you can fry fish you can fry dry land fish now back to the okra i've been still on a bite of cornmeal of cornmeal a cup and a half teaspoon a cornstarch of cornstarch frozen or fresh it don't make no difference what is it it okra? don't make no difference it's okra big teaspoon of salt okay <gasps> teaspoon of black pepper And, and you don't want to drop all your dry land fish in, or your okra in at one time because it'll stick together in a big glob. And you don't want it all stuck together in a big glob. Ow. You need to turn both of them frequently to keep it from sticking together and keep it from burning on the bottom. So now what I wanted you to see is my cornbread skillet, which last batch of cornbread in it was made. And now I'm going to rinse it out with my paper towel. That's all. It ain't got nothing, no water or nothing on it. And all I'll have to do then is put it in the oven. I'll put me some lard in it. I'll put a, a, a scoop of lard in it and I'll get that hot see and then i'll have be ready for my cornbread so you never wash your cornbread skillet because it will stick if you do that so you don't want to do that so there we go now we're going ahead and making our cornbread because we've got to have head on before everything else gets done. So we've got our hot grease in the oven and then we have about a half one and a half cups of cornmeal and one and a half cups of buttermilk and that's all we stir in it and then we are going to put it into our hot pan our hot cast iron skillet and um, put it on about four 425 and it'll take probably 20 minutes and then it'll be done Just get it even The okra will take a little more time than the dry land fish. We got a few more minutes on the okra. Crusted like all the rest of them, so you gotta shake and turn. Shake and turn. And turn. We got about five more minutes. 
Okay, the okra's been cooking for about, eh, maybe seven, eight, ten minutes longer than the dry land fish. So they're done. The cornbread is done. Now that's the way you make cornbread. If it don't fall out of your skillet oh, like oh. that, your skillet ain't seasoned enough. Okay, another four course meal here. We got green beans that were frozen from last year that we have cooked. They cooked two and a half, I guess, hours. Little meat in them to season them up. We got okra that was frozen from last year's garden and with cornmeal on it. And then we got our cornbread. Look at this cornbread. Now, that is some good cornbread. And then there's your dry land fish, people, if you ain't never seen it. Morel mushrooms. Morel mushrooms, whatever you want to call them. This is Danny's plate. He's a little more hungry than I am, can't you tell? Big thing of milk there. Yeah, he's going to eat a lot. Okay. This is my plate. Here's my dry lamb fish. We'll turn this over here in a minute and I'm gonna show you me taking a bite of it. All right, here we go. Let's see if it's any count. Mm. Yep, I haven't heard that in a long time. I had it in an omelet, but I had not had any fried. Very good. Danny did a good job. Everybody come back and see me. Danny's been cooking, so I have a kitchen to clean up. He can help me, though. Uh, this is Country Sherry at Country Sherry 23. We have some more good stuff. I would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. Thank you.